I think I had all Leicas at that time. And it was the camera I worked with. And I worked with mainly probably a 35 millimeter lens, sometimes a 28 millimeter lens and a 50 lens. Those were the three lenses I worked with. If I'm trying to get at something that's atmospheric, to capture an atmospheric moment, you want to be a bit wide. Composition is, is absolute. You have, to have, you have to take a great frame. I mean, I was much less experienced then. So some of my framing, I look now and think, oh, God, that's awful. But um, of course, you're always trying to make, it, to make the right frame. What appealed to me about doing work on film sets is that I could approach it as a documentary photographer. I never thought for a moment it was really my work. I was documenting somebody else's work in the style that they worked and trying to be true to what they did. I had total access, I mean, for work behind the scenes, simply because also at that time, people weren't as paranoid. There was no internet, there was no fear of exposing secrets of a film being made or whatever. I was just there taking pictures, so I was able to photograph in anything I wanted, like the costume designers working or the makeup artists were working with the actors, and also just Fellini working. I mean, he was um, incredible to photograph bigger than life, and I don't think he minded being photographed. I think he rather enjoyed it. And he was a showman, a great showman. And when he went to look at s different sets, I would follow him around and take pictures of him. He was a type of man and the type of character that it was hard to miss when you pointed a camera at him. Do you know there's some people that are, have such personalities and such power, you just can't miss. I mean, there's always a picture of him. I don't remember my first meeting with him, but I remember starting very slowly, because usually you have to feel the atmosphere and the temperament of everyone around you, because as a still photographer, you're the least important person there. So you have to f sort of sense what's going on and how far you can go, and, and not to be intrusive. Of course, I was terrified, because here at the sea, he was one of the great directors of all time. He did shout every once in a while. He never shouted at me, thank goodness. Sometimes he shouted to build up energy. Then he would apologize, always. It was so exciting, and he was giving orders, go, 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 but in Italian. Via, via, via. Go, go, go. Just building the energy. If you're lucky and you work with great directors like I've had the opportunity to do, and you're photographing their work, they all have their own particular style and point of view. So every set is different. They're te each telling a different story. <laughs>